March is almost over, so where is this Apple event that we were all expecting? Hello and welcome back to Apple Park. We're so excited to introduce an all new MacBook Air around M2. Apple has a ton of different products in the works and we just passed the last days that they could have announced a March event. So when are we gonna be getting these products and when can the next event be? Well, today we're gonna to talk about that, when I think it is coming and why, along with the different products that I'm excited about and you guys are as well. Now, nearly every spring in March, Apple has an event. Last year, they released the M1 Ultra Mac Studio. They have the new M1 iPad Air, which we were not expecting. And in previous years, we had things like the Apple TV 4K, iPad Pros, Apple Watches, and more. But this year, since March is almost over, some people are saying that we might have to wait for WWDC, which is all the way in June, but personally, I don't agree. And the first reason why is that WWDC is a software developers conference that isn't focused on hardware. Now, yes, last year at WWDC, we did get the M2 Power 13-inch MacBook Pro and 13-inch M2 Mac book here and that was excellent but if we take a journey back the year before apple talked about ios 15 ipad os mac os watch os we didn't get any hardware at all and you have to go all the way back to 2019 for the previous time we had hardware with the mac pro and with those products we had to wait another half a year before they actually shipped. The year before that, in 2018, we had no hardware. Now this year at WWC, most people are expecting Apple's new virtual reality headset. And that makes complete sense because you need a ton of software to make this work. But what about all of these other products? Now, looking back at the previous announcements, when we did have hardware, Apple kept it very limited at the software event. So personally, I think it'd be very weird for Apple to release these upcoming products at WWC and then have enough time for the headset and all the software that they usually show off. So with that said, when will we get an event? Personally, I think it's gonna be next month in April. Just about two years ago, we had an April event in 2021. It was a really big deal for Apple being at their campus there, the spring loaded event, and they announced a bunch of stuff. So with all the leaks and rumors of upcoming Apple products, I think it makes absolute sense to have an April spring event and let's go ahead and talk about what we have coming up. Now, the first product that we are expecting and I'm absolutely hyped for is the 15 inch MacBook Air. Even though we have so many different MacBooks here and I can use any one that I have that we need for this YouTube channel, oftentimes I would grab the M2 MacBook Air over a 14 inch or a 16 inch just because how nice it is to use but my only issue with it is that sometimes if you really want to dig in, that screen is just too small. So a 15 inch MacBook Air that is super thin, not much heavier than the 13 inch and coming in at a price tag, let's say it's 1500 bucks that is affordable would be amazing. And that's exactly what we have with our leaks. Apple just recently filed new listings for products using Bluetooth 5.3 in the Bluetooth Launch Studio database, which typically happens shortly before new Macs are released. Now, we have rumors of this 15-inch MacBook Air, along with, of course, the Mac Pro, which we'll talk about. And Ming-Chi Kuo gave us some info stating that these could be released in Q2 or later. Now, Q1 is January, February, and March, and Q2 starts in April, May, and June. Now, personally, I was expecting this to come with the M2 chip just like the 
16 inch MacBook Air, and that would be perfectly fine. But what is interesting is that Minchiko said that this could also come with the M2 Pro chip and a more powerful charger, which would be absolutely amazing. Now, in the past, Apple has never had, for, for a very long time, an affordable large size display. They always made you pay way more, even with the 15 inch MacBook Pro, to get the larger screen. And I think this could make sense because that'd be a way to have a model that's affordable, but then that would also give them the opportunity to let people spend the extra money to upgrade to the M2 Pro, just like in the Mac Mini. Now, it's also interesting is that ming is saying that it might not be called the MacBook Air. The Air is always super thin, super light. We've never had a 15 inch version. And I think that could also make sense to have this just be called the MacBook. So it's right there in the middle as far as price point and size while still being thin and light and giving people a reason to upgrade to the higher end ones. Now, along with that, we have the Mac Pro that we have been waiting for for years now. And we know it has to because of Apple's two year transition that they previously stated. Now, before we're also expecting a quad chip design, an extreme chip, but now it looks like we could be getting the M2 Ultra instead. And even though unfortunately it doesn't look like we're gonna have upgradable RAM, on the positive end, it looks like we're gonna have swappable brains where you can actually take out the main unit out of the chassis, the power supply, all that just stays in the case and upgrade down the line for less money and stay more current while getting all the benefits of the unified memory design. Now with that, that also could mean that we will not be getting a new Mac Studio. I know some people have been writing me asking about that, but because it would be so similar to the Mac Pro that also just has an M2 Ultra, it really wouldn't make sense. So even though I would love a new Mac Studio with an M2 Max chip at a lower price point, most likely that will not happen and that will not be coming out at this event. Now, we also had leaks of an iPad Pro, uh, but being that that just got updated with a very minor update, that will most likely not be coming out and the infamous M3 chip with the 13 inch M3 MacBook Air, that is also gonna be pushed back further. Now, the real question is, will the 15 inch MacBook Air come out with the M2 chip and then not much after, maybe half a year or so, we could get a 13 inch with M3 and the leaked upcoming new iMac that can also have the M3 chip. Um, will that make sense to split up those machines and have a 15 inch that is behind? Now, personally, I think it would help Apple having a device release earlier that is gonna be a very, very popular device bringing in revenue and then updating that one later. I think that would make more sense, but there is still a chance that they could wait for both of these. Now, of course, we have the headset. And with that, like I mentioned, I think that makes way more sense coming out in June at WWDC. So we should not be expecting that. So you guys let me know, what do you think about this? What are the chances of an April event instead of waiting till June or even later? And are you excited about the upcoming Mac Pro or this 15 inch MacBook or MacBook Air, whatever they decide to call it. Go ahead and click that circle above to subscribe. Check out one of those videos right over there. This has been Max and I'll see you in the next one.